Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're looking to find the domain of the function h of x is equal to 1 over the fourth root of x squared minus 5x. So our starting point for the domain of any function is all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. And we look at our function and say, okay, which values are invalid for this particular function? Here we have two things. We have an even root, right? So for any root of, let's say, x, if it is an even root, then x has to be greater than or equal to 0. And if it's an odd root, x can be anything in the real numbers. So here we have an even root, so therefore what's inside of this has to be x squared minus 5x, has to be greater than or equal to 0. In addition, the entire denominator, the fourth root of x squared minus 5x, has to be not equal to 0. So, we can do this one first, it's a little bit easier. Take the fourth power of both sides. These cancel, zero to the fourth is just zero. And we're left with here, x squared minus five x. Factor out an x, so x times x minus five is not equal to zero. Therefore, x cannot be equal to zero, and x minus five cannot be equal to zero. And therefore, x cannot be equal to five as well. So already we have two values that we've knocked out. And here we have to deal with this inequality. So we have a similar thing, x times x minus five is greater than or equal to zero. And we have to take these two uh, quote unquote zeros of this function right here, x is equal to zero and x is equal to five, which we've already found down here, and say, okay, we have a number line on the intervals in between these points which of them are going to be greater than or equal to zero. So for in between, we can just pick any point, let's say two, and we could do two squared minus five times two. This is equal to four minus 10, which is negative six, so therefore this is negative. And since we don't have any repeating roots, right, we have x is equal to zero and we have x is equal to five, we know that it alternates positive and negative. So therefore, from this, we know that x has to be less than or equal to 0, or x has to be greater than or equal to 5. However, we know that it cannot be equal to 0, and it cannot be equal to 5, so these become x is less than 0, or x is greater than 5. This is equivalent to negative infinity to, to 0, union with 5 to infinity, representing the same information the domain of the function h of x.